Hey guys, it's God Bars here, the self-proclaimed hip-hop historian, and this is the 266th episode of my series, where I grab a vinyl from my collection, talk about why I love it, what influence it has, and what its place is in the grand scheme of hip-hop. So, for context, when it comes to the Diggin' in the Crates crew, better known as DITC, this is actually the third time in this set that I featured an act from the collective, and the fifth time I've had one on the channel in general. The two I discussed earlier on in this extensive set of 90s classics were OC's Word Life and Showbiz and AG's Runaway Slave. The latter of which actually dropped the exact same date as the LP we're talking about today. Then, prior to those, I believe the only other DITC-related projects I've covered include Lord Finesse's The Awakening and Big L's Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. Those are all amazing, relatively high-profile pieces of 90s New York boom bap, but the way I was introduced to all the classic releases within the Diggin' in the Crates crew, I always got the impression that Stunts, Blunts, and Hip Hop never quite got the acknowledgement it fully deserved. This was technically the debut album by Diamond and the Psychotic Neurotics, but for all intents and purposes, it's really just considered as Diamond D's solo debut in everything but name, because he takes the helm for virtually the entire thing, outside of the moments where the psychotic neurotics or the various DITC members pop up for occasional features or production spots, though his first LP officially under the Diamond D moniker as a solo artist was 1997's Hatred, Passion, and Infidelity. One of the qualities Diamond D shares with close associate Lord Finesse is the uncanny ability both have to create top tier beats consistently, as well as being able to rap over them at a level that's way above average, especially for their era. In fact, Diamond is one of the first names that usually pops into my head when I'm thinking of MCs who also get busy behind the boards, along with other multi-hyphenates like Dr. Dre, Mad Lib, MF Doom, DJ Quick, Havoc, and of course LP, and that's just to name a small handful of personal favorites. I mean, Diamond not only has some legendary guest spots, like his appearance on Show Business off The Low End Theory by a Tribe Called Quest, or his feature on the title track from The Score by the Fugees, but he's also contributed his top tier beat making prowess to LPs like Brand Nubians in God We Trust, House of Pain, Same As It Ever Was, KRS One self titled solo album, The Alcoholics Coast to Coast, Most Def or Yasin Bey's Black on Both Sides, and Pharaoh Manch's Internal Affairs, and that's really just the tip of the iceberg. Diamond was one of the guys who really helped cement the Diggin' in the Crates crew as a force in the New York underground to be reckoned with, and much like virtually every contemporary he stood alongside in the collective, this dude was crafting flows, rhymes, and instrumentals that sounded years ahead of most others, and I know I say that a lot, but I promise if you go listen to your average hip-hop LP from 1990, 91, or even 92, then come back to compare it to stunts, blunts, and hip-hop here. In many cases, you might be surprised with just how vast the difference can be. I can't say for sure because I wasn't really around to experience the decade, but to me this thing sounds like it could have come out in 1994 or so, to the point where I feel like nobody would have even batted an eye if Diamond just sat on the album for a couple of years before dropping it. To prove just how lethal this man can get with his pen, I wanted to read out one of my favorite verses on the project, which comes from one of the album's three singles, Best Kept Secret. On this one, Diamond D gets right down to business, rapping, You see, I skip to my loo like Napoleon at Waterloo, my name is Diamond D, tell you what I'm gonna do, I dip and I dab like a Mike Tyson jab, even though there's flab, I promise you the gift of gab. I shoot it like a jammy in, girls get the panty ins, even with a fanny and I might win a Grammy in, maybe I won't so I'll chill like the Pope, see I'll never mope cause you know my shit is dope. Like Colombian fish scale, ask my man Ishmael, Diamond D got props like a cop, 
or better yet DT cause brothers can't see me, even your girl says you got a small wee wee, now you wanna go upside her head, then you feel intimidated by the things she said. Don't be mad cause I paid her back, you know I took her to the rest then I laid her back. I go on and on like popcorn with the butter. Hey, 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 yo, 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 I used to stutter. But I fall on track in, some may say I'm whack in fact, but in fact I'm not any of that black. See, I'm the best kept secret. So shut the fuck up and peep it. I mentioned earlier that despite the vast majority of the production being covered by Diamond D himself, that there are a few other legends who assist with the killer instrumentals, including Showbiz, Lakeem Shabazz, Jazzy J, The 45 King, Q-Tip of A Tribe Called Quest, and Large Professor of Main Source. Outside of the neurotics themselves, the list of guest appearances for stunts, blunts, and hip-hop is relatively small, boasting a modest but commendable roster of Show, Jasmine, Michelle Sweeting, Fat Joe, Maestro Fresh Wes, Mike G. Hugh, Wiz One, Big L, and Brand Nubian. When it comes to my honorable mentions for this one, I wanted to shout out some dope tracks that didn't quite make the top tier for me personally, but definitely still deserve a listen, like I'm Outta Here, Confused, Past That Shit, Freestyle, Yo That's That Shit, Stunts, Blunts, and Hip Hop, Feel the Vibe, and Step To Me. Then for my overall top 3, I probably would have had Best Kept Secret as 1, but considering I read an entire verse from that song, I'm instead going to name my favorite tracks as Fuck What You Heard, Sally Got A One Track Mind, and I Went For Mine. Thank you for watching my 266th video, next up we're returning to one of the most iconic and legendary groups to ever grace our ear holes with their music. So look for that upload, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite tracks are off this underground gem. Don't forget to have a great day, and I'll see you next time, okay? Alright.